This here is 5740 West Hazelwood. So this would be uh, about 59th Avenue in Camelback area. Nice neighborhood. Beautiful home right across the street. And uh, most of the other houses look pretty decent. So this one here is a four bedroom. It's two bathroom and has a one car garage. And there's somewhat of an RV gate on the side. The roof's pretty decent. Outside of the house, should probably get painted, especially the wood. See it's starting to chip and flake a little bit. Block home. Uh, does need a few things inside, but overall good condition. Nice tile floor through most of the house. Nice install, nice straight lines in the tile. And whoever laid the tile did a good job. Does need uh, light fixtures pretty much everywhere. Um, ceiling fans, that kind of thing. This is a family room here. And this looks to me like original square footage of this family room. <coughs> Let me take a quick look outside. Yeah, it's all block all the way around so this is original we'll get back to this outside in just a little bit but probably want to paint all the inside it's not terrible but it's enough where it'd be be nice to give it a fresh coat of paint light fixture in here as well uh, here in the family room or living room there's a crack in the drywall on the ceiling and if I go in here to the garage there's access to the attic right there. So my guess is somebody stepped on the ceiling, probably the people in there moving out. They probably stepped on the drywall there and broke that. That's what it looks like to me. But anyways, it does need repair. Pretty nice kitchen, nice cabinets, countertops are in good condition. And it has a dishwasher, it's just kind of sitting in the hole. So. I'm going to say it needs appliances. You know, it does need the microwave, the stove, the refrigerator, and it's set up for gas or electric. So you got both here. Needs a sink. And, you know, new trap kit and all that good stuff to go along with the sink. But most of the kitchen's in good condition. Same tile floor. Nice big dining room. Uh, well, I'm on this side. We'll take a look at the garage right now. And it's a, a single door to the garage. But you might be able to get two small cars in here. It'd be tight, but I'm going to call it a one-car garage. All open rafters to the ceiling. And then the uh, washer and dryer connections are in here. Also needs a water heater. Once again, a gas service, if, if you'd want to use the gas. So it's a deep garage, oversized one car. Wouldn't be able to get two full-size cars, but two small cars would probably fit, be a squeeze. Uh, and then needs all the interior doors, a couple of closets in the entryway. Still nice tile going through the hallway. Well, the first bedroom, let me pull this uh, drape back so give a little light. So first bedroom, light fixture, paint, carpet's in pretty good condition. Um, professional cleaning would make it really nice. Then there's a spot in the closet there that doesn't have any flooring in it. So whether you put some sort of different flooring in the closet and keep the carpet or just re-carpet the whole room could go either way this would be the master bedroom pretty much the same thing light fixture carpet needs a good cleaning and then paint this room it's got a nice size master bathroom and uh, 
So there's one cabinet door that needs to be reinstalled. And then the faucets are gone, so you need a couple of faucets. There's two sinks here. Along, as, along with the angle stops and trap kit. And need a toilet. It's the same tile that's in the other part of the house. Then there's a tile shower. Looks like it needs a new trim kit for the shower. The valves, handles, shower head. And a, uh, looks like there used to be a glass door on there. So you can either clean that off real good and just have a shower curtain or reinstall a shower door. And then this, this bathroom's got a pocket door. And heading down the hallway, still got tile for the light fixture, a little built-in linen cabinet, needs a door. And we get to the main bathroom, different tile in here, but it looks really nice. Need a vanity, and uh, looks like the toilet's not hooked up to the water line, needs a toilet cover. Nice tile on the shower surround. Right up around the window here needs a little bit of finishing off. Make it complete. Paint this room. Trim kit for this shower as well. Shower head and shower handles. Nice tub. Bedroom three. Same as the last bedroom. Or the other two bedrooms. Uh, decent carpet. Needs a professional cleaning. Needs some paint. Light fixture, getting kind of repetitive here on the bedrooms. They're all pretty much the same. Light fixture paint and carpet on bedroom four. Once again, nothing in the closet. But if it's anything like my closet, you don't see the floor anyway, so. Oh, let's see. So pretty decent house inside. Needs paint, light fixtures, carpet cleaning. A little bit of plumbing stuff, sinks, faucets, that kind of thing. Come to the backyard, there's a block fence. It's hard to see in the light over there. Or in the, yeah, you can't see it's block fence there. Chain link at the alley. Block fence on the other side. Here's the gate. Gate needs to get repaired a little bit, but nice big wide gate. So you could pull a vehicle or park a trailer or that kind of thing back here. Roof looks relatively good. Once again, exterior trim should get painted. You see the flaking on the fascia a little bit. Looks like a pretty good air conditioner. Relatively new. And there's a pool here. It's been covered by the city. Um, but I did open up a little spot here by the ladder so you can take a peek inside and it looks like it's gonna need some might need some plastering redone I'm not real sure definitely needs a good cleaning I'm fairly impressed I didn't drop the camera in there need some pool equipment Nice uh, concrete pad all the way around the pool. Looks like a water treatment system over there on the side. Someone's celebrating a little early. I heard some fire, fireworks going off there. So anyways, uh, structurally pretty good house. Four bedroom, two bathroom, one car garage. Need some paint outside, paint inside, some light fixtures, uh, some plumbing fixtures. Pretty easy to make this one really nice. And from your favorite videologist, have a Merry Christmas.